Hello, people. So, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is, I managed to save the last piece of footage, which was like three hours long. The bad news is, the audio was really decent, and there was no way of saving it. It's like the audio was faster than the recording, so here is how I've had to edit the last bit of footage. So in the last episode, we was at war with the Bacchus and the Dashar. I summoned the army. And then we just went on the offensive. I took Ethos back from the Bacchus. And then I went over to Ishkamon and took that from the Dashar. Then we ended up taking Singal as well. And we took Saidu Sheriff as well. And I mean, this was pretty much me for like three hours, just auto-resolving and taking castles. We attacked Orba here and it had quite a few uh, lords waiting inside, but we had a lot of troops, so I took all of them prisoner. Except the good ones, I let them go. Then I found Barilgi and I took him prisoner as well. And I think I took a large pouch of diamonds from him. We ended up taking Valenbrae back. And as you can see, the Dashar, we were taking a lot of their territories. They were sieging Ishkamon, but I managed to uh, chase off the army, and I took quite a few of them prisoner as well. And the Bacchus were really annoying. They were taking things as I was trying to, you know, destroy the Dashar. So I took Ethos back from the from the Bacchus. We took Kalanane Castle. And then we ran into Maltese, and we all resolved this, but it was quite a bloody battle. We did manage to take a prisoner. And I think I took a Qualis gem from Maltese as well, but our troops weren't looking too good. We took Sanj to feed as well. We found Cold and Iron Sword, and we took him prisoner. And I think I got a Qualis gem from him too. We took Tuldar Fortress. We went back to Ishkamon and took that again. We took Torber again. And we took Noltar again. We took this castle, but they were laying siege to Ishkamon. So I tried to get in this battle, try and take a few of them prisoner, but it wasn't working. So I went back to Laria and recruited a new mercenary company. We took Singal again. It was basically me just taking, losing and then retaking these lands. And here was Dashar's full army, and I chased them back into Noltar. We had enough troops, so we auto-resolved, and I took a lot of them prisoner. We went back into the Bacchus lands, and we took Ethos back. We took Janos. And Aragar. And Maris. We took Relikeep. We took Savador. And Savador had a lot of prisoners inside. Then we finally took Sarleon, but it had a lot of troops inside. And after the auto resolve, my army wasn't looking too good. But I tried to finish off the Dashar, and they only had High Pass Fortress left. The rest of the Dashar lords were in High Pass Fortress. And uh, we tried to take it out, but then Igrim and a random heretic army came over the mountain and just started engaging my troops. And uh, we were outnumbered, so I just had to let the army go. We did manage to catch up with Igrim. And I engaged. We 
And we got another Qualus gem from him too. So we got three Qualus gems while we were doing all this fighting. I saw that the Bacchus had 3,200 troops and my units were not the best. So I got a new mercenary company and I hired 247 noble recruits and I turned them all into Ravenstone Knights. I summoned the army once more. We bumped into the uh, Dashar King. I took him out and I took his bow as well, which, was, which wasn't that good. We finally took High Pass Fortress and that was the Dashar. They didn't have any lands left. And then in the meantime, the Bacchus ended up taking a lot of lands from me. So I quickly went and reclaimed all those. I got the message that the Bacchus was sieging Ethos. I went over there and I bumped into the king and his mercenary company. And I took those guys out and they, that was basically half their army. We took White Stag. We took Almira. And then it was just says left. We owned everything else. And because it was the last place, I did lay siege to it and I fought it on the field. Because there was no audio, it was, there was no point showing you guys. I'm so sorry. But we outnumbered them so heavily. We won the fight. And then we owned everything. But it wasn't over. We still need to defeat all of the unique armies that are floating around Pendor. That's where we'll pick it up. Okay, okay. Folks, I'm so sorry. It's just my luck that, you know, the last piece of footage when we're actually, you know, conquering, we're finishing the game and stuff like that, the last recording gets corrupted. Ah, oh, I do apologize. I do apologize. But there's still a lot of work to be done. I still need to take all of the unique spawns that are flowing around Pendor. If I go to factions, Kingdom of Salion is defeated. Ravenstone is defeated. Feard's Vein is defeated. The Dashar is defeated. And the Bacchus is defeated. It's such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. I've only ever done it once. And that was beating Pendor as a man. Now beat it as a woman. And I'm hoping that I get the... Um, the achievement soon so i'm looking at what we have to take out here so there's three snake cults two miss mountain armies two heretic armies three jatu a dread legion warlord zulkar and sila uzas but we don't have to take the noldor lord because we're friendly with him so there's still quite a bit of work to be done oh my days it's just so many people in here because there's no one to oppose us, I am going to make myself the lord of everything. Just so I don't run out of money. I did just pick up the Chosen of Indar. I'm going to ask them to follow me. I'm going to sell all these prisoners. Ah, the horn. Oh, the horn. Okay, plus 72,000. That is a good day. Let me go and get my troops. Let's start taking out these armies. God, that horn is annoying. I'm going to take all my best troops. Perfect. Let's summon the army, folks. Oh my god, the horn! Oh, we got a beefy army here. Right, let's start in Ravenstone. So many troops. And we begin. One mismounted army down. Die in the claws of Vejovis. 
I'd rather die in the claws of Vajovis, bro. That horn is too annoying. Oh my god. Shut up. Where's the other misfire army? Oh, hello. Why is morale low? Morale is low because all we can hear is that horn. My morale is low. I don't care how many arrows they feather me with, how many spears they run through me, I will kill that horn blowing cunt. Where are these armies? Ooh, big Jatu army. Let's go. Nice. Warlords all car, come to me, brother. And he is a prisoner too. I'd like a Qualis gem, please. <laughs> this horn. That's a lot of snake cool armies down. I'm sure the Dread Legion is up though. Let's try and find Maltese. Okay, so reading this, it says that all these are obliterated. So the Dread Legion is the only one that's left that I think would give me the victory. I think anyway. I have four Qualis gems, four Noldor trade goods. We're going to pick up some Noldor. Oh, what do I take? Rangers. 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 And rangers. I've just got 60 Noldor. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I'm surely we're past this now. I rule everything. What are you trying to do? So I got the Noldor. We transfer all the troops to the garrison. Right, now then. I want all of my best archers with me. I'm going all bowmen, including Noldor. Everyone can return home. I'm going to take on the Dread Legion, just me and the Chosen of Indar. Where are you, Maltese? Oh my god. Here she is. Chosen of Indar is running away. Oh, there's another snake called Harmy here. No. I mean, is this suicide taking on Maltese by myself? Only one way to find out. Come on, I've got 60 Noldor here. Surely we've got to put a dent in them. There's Maltese. Ah! 
we're doing well. We're actually doing well. Holy hell. Oh damn. Oh no. Come on, Noldor, mess them up. Um maybe leave. We might need to get a new some new territory. Is the same thing it is let's go Is no good. Let's try that again. Ah, they don't want to charge now. I don't think this is going to work. They are super strong. Yeah, that ain't working. <laughs> Let me summon the army. Let's end this. Alright, let's take out this Dread Legion. There she is. Maltese, you are my prisoner. Now all these are obliterated. Right, there's two armies there. Let's kill this guy just in case. Wolf boat is up. Right, that could be the source. Grim the Devourer is up. Right, okay. Oh! I've just killed Maltese. Let's find Igrim. Where do Igrim be? Oh, is that him? It is. He's got 900 units, though. Oh, Rasmus and Igrim are fighting. That's it, piling. Let's go. And a Qualus gem. Right. Barilgi. There's only Barilgi left. Let's go. I'm sure he spawns up here. There he is.
This should be it. One snake cult army left. There they are. Yes. Oh. Let's fucking go. The kingdom of subscribe has defeated all rivals and stands as the sole kingdom. The prophecy of Madigan has been fulfilled. An alternate probability has been created. Oh. That is insane. I get applause. Yes. Oh, such a good feeling. Such a good feeling. We nearly got 2,000 renown there. How many days did it take us? 1700 days. That's not bad. That is not bad. These what's that? These are the stats that I ended on. Nearly level 38. 407 archery proficiency. That's insane. Let's retire from adventuring. Let's have a look at this then. Victories. Total score, 8,024. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Honestly, people, thank you to anyone who's watched all the way through. It means a hell of a lot. Thank you for everyone who subscribed, commented, liked the videos, or just give it the time of day. It really does mean a lot. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you've liked this series. All of my links will be in the description of this video. Peace and love.